What's the state of executable digital twin support by Siemens? Let's talk about that next. Okay, so let's talk about executable digital twins in Siemens. So first off, what's an executable digital twin? It's basically a model where you feed it sensor data and that mimics the behavior of a physical product that's operating. But then you feed out virtual sensor data, sensors that only exist in the digital realm, and you use that for other stuff. So the update that we received was at a media and analyst conference uh, that Siemens hosted in Detroit. And they, it was really interesting. They actually gave a lot of different examples of executable digital twins from different industries. But it was interesting to see how it was set up and then how is it executed. So let's first talk about how these things are set up. So first off, it's, it's how you would actually create a normal simulation model uh, is the start. This could range widely depending on the type of simulation that you're executing, but what you then do with that full fidelity simulation is it is transformed or exported or translated. You can use lots of different terms to describe it, but it is transformed into a reduced order simulation with a certain number of inputs and a certain number of outputs. Now, of course, there's more involved than that. You know, you, there's lots of uh, there's lots of technical uh, things involved in going from that full fidelity simulation model to the reduced order simulation model. But the whole idea is that it runs super duper fast, like almost real time, near real time, uh, or at least that it can, it can catch up. But again, this thing is going to be running on the edge. So actually on a product or maybe even in the cloud where your IoT platform resides. That's the whole concept here. That's why you need a reduced order simulation so it runs super, super fast. So then how does it actually run? So the whole idea here is that you have your physical product once it's assembled. And on that, of course, you're gonna have some electronics uh, that are well, probably doing lots of things. But one of the things that it does is this reduced order simulation actually goes on that set of electronics, the board system you have running there. Then you have a number of physical sensors that you have integrated into the design of the product. And also you have an antenna that's integrated into the design of that product. And of course you have your IoT platform and, and this kind of goes along with that, but you are streaming some data off of those sensors through whatever connectivity you have up to the IoT platform. But that, that's actually not all that sensor data does. Like we described before, you actually feed that over into this reduced order simulation. It's an input if you wanna think of it that way. And of course, you're gonna have certain outputs that are where you're measuring results at virtual sensors. And that is also streamed up to the IoT platform. So suddenly you not only have physical sensor data that you have integrated into the design, but now you have some virtual sensor data that's augmenting that physical sensor data in your IoT platform. So why is this important and what does it have to do with Siemens? Well, you might not always need to or be able to put sensors where you want them to be due to temperature ranges or all sorts of other reasons. You might not have room. Um, so using virtual sensors like this is a way to augment the data that you're already gonna get. What's even more interesting though is this allows over the air updates uh, to improve the data that you're capturing, right? So maybe you have two virtual sensors initially, but then you augment your reduced order simulation to have three or four, right? And suddenly now you have more insight than you did before and you didn't have to change hardware at all. So that's very, very compelling. Now, why and how is this related to Siemens? Well, Siemens has made some really, uh, really astute acquisitions in this space over time. LMS for, was some time ago, uh, that's been integrated. They have an integrated simulation and test solution suite now. Um, they also have a lot of good capabilities around um, translating these full fidelity simulation models to reduced order simulation models so that they can run very, very fast. 
and that they can be run, actually translated as an executable that runs on the OS, on the, on the actual product. And that's, that's pretty compelling too. So there's, there's a lot of capabilities. And what was very, very clear at the event was that there were lots of customers exploring this with Siemens solutions in many, many different industries and realizing many benefits from it. So realizing value from it. So they've made a lot of progress on this front. They've made a lot of investments and um, their customers are getting value out of it. So that's it. That's uh, how virtual sensors and executable digital twins and Siemens are all kind of wrapped together. That's it. Take care and talk soon.